Hello YouTube, welcome to my tutorial on how to install Mac OS X Lion. Uh, if you've watched the first tutorial and you've successfully installed Mac OS X Snow Leopard, then this is a video you want to watch if you would like to upgrade. Uh, before you start, of course, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to have to have a Intel Core 2 or above uh, CPU. You're going to need a Mac App Store account to get Mac OS X Lion, uh, that's about 30 bucks. Uh, you're gonna need about four gigabytes of space, uh, eight gigabytes additional to install Mac OS X Lion. You're also gonna have to be on the latest software update, which is 10.6.8. 10.6.6 uh, .6 will also work, but you may have a harder time installing Lion on top of that. So make sure you're all the way upgrade it to the latest 10.6.8 software update before you proceed with this. And let's get started. So here I am going to show you my Hackintosh before the update. As you can see, I'm running 10.6.8, processor 2.67 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon with four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, my original Snow Leopard install would not let me upgrade to Lion, so I had to redo it with a separate process using iBoot and uh, Multi Beast by Tony Mac 80 x86 uh, it's pretty much the same as my original tutorial okay so here you want to double click on lion and you install it over your snow leopard it's not going to overwrite anything as of yet it's just installing the necessary files to get you going so you can proceed to the install and of course at times like these where there's long loading bars, I'm going to speed it up. Uh, this bar may not reach the top, it's fine. If it says restart, just restart, your computer will be just fine, it won't mess up. So you want to boot back in. Back into Snow Leopard, it's still Snow Leopard. Now you want to find this utility. Make sure you go and run that. Find the hard drive that you have Snow Leopard installed onto. Don't click on the subdivision, you want to click on the top hard drive, the actual hard drive itself, and hit the plus sign. Uh, I don't actually do it here, but the second partition, it only needs about 8-10 gigabytes of space. Uh, you can rename it to installer so it's easier for you to find whenever you have to reboot and launch into that. Just create a new partition. It should be uh, Mac OS X extended journaled. It should be like that automatically so you don't have to touch anything. Just hit apply and let it do its thing. I actually didn't want the installer partition to be too big so I re-resized it. And I reapplied the partitioning. And now you want to go and download a piece of a package called XMove, which is going to take the files that you made when you first ran the Lion installer. It's going to take those files and you're going to move those into the new partition that you just made installer, not on your regular drive, the new partition that you just made. Make sure you click that. If you click it on your actual drive that Snow Leopard is on, it may mess up. I'm not going to test it and see what it's going to do because I don't want to mess anything up. But you want to put it in installer so you can get this up and running. Type in your password and you let that install. It It takes, I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes depending on your hardware. It kind of hangs at the end. Even with this sped up, it still, still takes pretty long time
if it seems like it's it's hanging a little bit too much, you can try moving the mouse around just to keep it from freezing up because uh, I don't know if original Macs do this, but on Hackintosh for me, it seems like if I leave the mouse sitting there, it will it'll hang for a while. But as soon as you move it, the bar may jump up a lot or I don't know. It just seems to work for me. And I usually put the mouse right in front of the bar so that I can tell that it's moving because if there's no indicator on how far up the bar was, it just seems like it's going to take forever and it hasn't moved. Uh, but it's almost done here. And I believe you can, yes, you can restart your computer now. And when you get back to the bootloader screen, instead of going to your regular Snow Leopard install, you want to choose installer instead. And when it boots up, it's it's going to be like a brand new version of when you install Snow Leopard. You get this screen. And it's welcoming you and you're going to basically set up your new Lion install. This utility is in here if you need to repartition something. And you can just go ahead and reinstall it right on top of your Mac OS X install that you already have. Or if you like, you can partition a whole separate part of your uh, hard drive and install Line cleanly. You can have Snow Leopard and Line. And here I jump into the end of the install. You restart one more time. I'm going to speed this up for you. And this time you can choose the regular Mac install hard drive that you always chosen to get into Mac. And when you get in there, you have a nice lovely lion with the new wallpaper and new features. You can see Launchpad at the bottom. There's Mission Control. It asks you to register. I usually don't. Uh, and for the two or three times that I've installed Lion, all my hardware, has, it, it seems to work from when it was on Snow Leopard. As you can see here, I'm on 10.7, which is Lion. Uh, like my text, they don't seem to get deleted. My audio still works. My my graphic card, it, it still works. I can I'm still able to get on the internet. As you can see here, I'm checking my checking for new software. Everything seems to work as if it was uh, on Snow Leopard before. Now, if something doesn't work for you, you can. Just uh, grab the Kex utility and grab the Kex that you need that worked before and you can just reinstall those and they, they should work properly because it's still the same base software that you install. There's Launchpad, looks like a giant iPad, iPhone. Here's Mission Control. And here I'm showing you my two monitors. And here is a small feature that I had in my other video, uh, the full screen apps. I didn't show you in the other video, but when you hit it and you have more than one monitor, here's that brush steel look on your second monitor. And the full screen app takes the actual full screen of your primary monitor. Here's a little bit more mission control. For some reason, it hung right here until I clicked it. You're supposed to just drag it up there and let go, and it's supposed to drop down, but it didn't seem to work. Of course, you have your dashboard up at the top there. And 
and everything just seems to work it it's very feels a little bit snappier to me i don't know if it's my hardware but that's how you install mac os 10 lion 10.7 hackintosh If you have any problems or any questions you would like to ask me about this install or the last install, you can leave that in the comment section below or in the video response. Uh, if you would like to ask me directly, here's my email, here's my Twitter. If you didn't catch the Snow Leopard install, this is also right here. You can just click on the video that's playing and that'll take you right to it. Uh, but I would like to thank you for watching this video and see you in the next tutorial or the next gaming video. Bye-bye.